brought to you by wikivd.com. Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands, officially the Republic of the Marshall Islands, is an island country located near the equator in the Pacific Ocean, slightly west of the international date line. Geographically, the country is part of the larger island group of Micronesia. The country's population of 53,158 people is spread out over 29 coral atolls, comprising 1156 individual islands and islets. The islands share maritime boundaries, with the Federated States of Micronesia to the west, Wake Island to the north, Kiribati to the southeast, and Nauru to the south. About 27,797 of the islanders live on Majuro, which contains the capital. Micronesian colonists gradually settled the Marshall Islands during the second millennium BC, with inter-island navigation made possible using traditional stick charts. Islands in the archipelago were first explored by Europeans in the 1520s with Spanish explorer Alonso de Salazar sighting an atoll in August 1526. Other expeditions by Spanish and English ships followed. The islands derive their name from British explorer John Marshall, who visited in 1788. The islands were historically known by the inhabitants as Jolot Genanij. The European powers recognized Spanish sovereignty over the islands in 1874. They had been part of the Spanish East Indies formally since 1528. Later, Spain sold the islands to the German Empire in 1884, and they became part of German New Guinea in 1885. In World War I the Empire of Japan occupied the Marshall Islands which in 1919 the League of Nations combined with other former German territories to form the South Pacific Mandate. In World War II, the United States conquered the islands in the Gilbert and Marshall Islands campaign, along with other Pacific islands. The Marshall Islands were then consolidated into the Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands governed by the U.S. Self-government was achieved in 1979, and full sovereignty in 1986, under a compact of free association with the United States. Marshall Islands has been a United Nations member state since 1991. Politically, the Marshall Islands is a presidential republic in free association with the United States with the U.S. providing defense, subsidies, and access to U.S.-based agencies such as the Federal Communications Commission and the United States Postal Service. With few natural resources, the island's wealth is based on a service economy, as well as some fishing and agriculture. Aid from the United States represents a large percentage of the island's gross domestic product. The country uses the United States dollar as its currency. The majority of the citizens of the Marshall Islands are of Marshallese descent. Though there are small numbers of immigrants from the United States, China, Philippines, and other Pacific Islands, the two official languages are Marshallese, which is a member of the Malayo-Polynesian languages, and English. Almost the entire population of the islands practices some religion, with three-quarters of the country either following the United Church of Christ Congregational in the Marshall Islands are the Assemblies of God. History Micronesians settled the Marshall Islands in the second millennium BC, but there are no historical or oral records of the period. Over time, the Marshall Island people learned to navigate over long ocean distances by canoe using traditional stick charts. Spanish Colony Spanish explorer Alonso de Salazar was the first European to see the islands in 1526, commanding the ship Santa Maria de la Victoria. 
the only surviving vessel of the Low Isa expedition. On August 21, he sighted an island at 14 degrees north that he named San Bartolome. On September 21, 1529, Alvaro de Saavedra Serón commanded the Spanish ship Florida on his second attempt to recross the Pacific from the Maluku Islands. He stood off a group of islands, from which local inhabitants hurled stones at his ship. These islands, which he named Los Pintados, may have been Uyalang. On October 1, he found another group of islands, where he went ashore for eight days, exchanged gifts with the local inhabitants, and took on water. These islands, which he named Los Jardines, may have been Enutac or Bikini Atoll. The Spanish ship San Pedro and two other vessels in an expedition commanded by Miguel López de Legazpi discovered an island on January 9, 1530, possibly Medjit, at 10 degrees north, which they named Los Barbudos. The Spaniards went ashore and traded with the local inhabitants. On January 10, the Spaniards sighted another island that they named Places, perhaps a luck. Ten leagues away, they sighted another island that they called Pajars. On January 12, they sighted another island at 10 degrees north that they called Corrales. On January 15, the Spaniards sighted another low island, perhaps Uyalang, at 10 degrees north where they described the people on Barbudos. After that, ships including the San Geronimo, Los Reyes and Tadus Los Santos also visited the islands in different years. The islanders had no immunity to European diseases and many died as a result of contact with the Spanish. Other European contact Captain John Charles Marshall and Thomas Gilbert visited the islands in 1788. The islands were named for Marshall on Western charts. Although the natives have historically named their home, Jolot, Gen A N R J. Around 1820, Russian explorer Adam Johann von Krusenstern and the French explorer Louis Isidore Dupree named the islands after John Marshall and drew maps of the islands. The designation was repeated later on British maps. In 1824 the crew of the American whaler globe mutinied, and some of the crew put ashore on Mulgrave Island. One year later, the American schooner Dolphin arrived and picked up two boys, the last survivors of a massacre by the natives due to their brutal treatment of the women. A number of vessels visiting the islands were attacked and their crews killed. In 1834, Captain Donsett and his crew were killed. Similarly, in 1845 the schooner Nyad punished a native for stealing with such violence that the natives attacked the ship. Later that year a whaler's boat crew were killed. In 1852 the San Francisco-based ships Glencoe and sea nymph were attacked and everyone aboard except for one crew member were killed. The violence was usually attributed as a response to the ill treatment of the natives in response to petty theft which was a common practice. In 1857, two missionaries successfully settled on Eben, living among the natives through at least 1870. The international community in 1874 recognized the Spanish Empire's claim of sovereignty over the islands as part of the Spanish East Indies. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.